Alright, so we now have our main mission in the game. Anyway, I'm going to show you something interesting. Not the options menu. The map. Now, I'm going to give you guys a second to see what I see right now. This map should look very familiar to people who know Japan. Alright. Now that's done. <laughs> Sorry, I took a drink. <laughs> Nippon is another way of saying Nihon, which is how you say Japan in Japanese. And this is a elevate very s small map. It is actually all of Japan, <laughs> including um, Hokkaido, I believe, which is up to the north. So yeah, this is basically, we're going to be roaming around Japan. <laughs> Do some shopping. I'm actually going to keep one of each treasure tre treasure for a while. Later on, I'll sell them, but for now, I want to keep them. Let's uh, five That's done. Let's go feed some more animals. Rabbits like birds? Yes. <coughs> I don't have enough to feed all the animals here, but I will feed a lot of most of them. Hi, Busa. He likes meat. Or Niku. Make sure you feed, um, there are more of these like this, the dogs with the, um, collars. Or something like that, yeah. Make sure you feed them. Ooh, I missed that chest. I almost missed you. Exorcism slips will be your friend. Anything up here? Oh, I missed. Gotcha. <laughs> Sorry, I'm tormenting the wildlife. Let's go feed the chickens. <coughs> As I said before, I'll come back later and uh, properly feed all the animals. If you're quick enough, you can actually catch a bird in, um, with Ami's mouth and carry it around. But all animals in this game are ninjas. They'll eventually disappear. Now, if memory is serving correctly, there's only one more uh, animal here in Kamiki. That was pitiful. If that um, life thing disappears, you actually drown. I know there's one out here. There it is. If you come to areas at night, you will find beams of light that will have treasure, che treasure chests underneath them.
There's a much safer way to get over there, but I don't want to do it. <laughs> I need to come back later for that. Anyway, the last animal that I know of, for certain, are nightingales. They are over... Here. Well, sparrows right now. But there are also some nightingales that land around here later. I believe anyway, it might, be, it might just be sparrows. Cool. We'll get to that chest later, by the way. <clears throat> yeah, there are multiple treasures in the game, so you can sell them all if you want. Demon scrolls, they're enemies. That's how you engage them. Okay, it's not how you do it, you have to run into them. <laughs> there we are. If you're wondering how to flee a battle, those uh, white lights along the wall, light blue, if you attack them enough, they'll open and you can get out. But I recommend never doing that because you lose your godhood and you go straight to skulls. Plus, you never get anything. Ah, I got a regular tree. Crap. Oh well. Max got her. Now see how long I can get, the, get that to last. I bet the only reason why I lost, I got the uh, green in the time that last, in the last fight. Looks like I stopped to show you the uh, light. After this fight I'll explain the uh, curse zone to you guys. If you hit an enemy while they're doing their slow, dramatic jump backwards, um, you can't do a floral finish. You can only do one move after that. And when they get to normal speed, which you'll see eventually, you can't uh, do a floral finish on. Anyway, cursed zones turn humans into statues, and if you get into them, it will slowly drain, or quickly drain your ink. When your ink goes out, it will drain your health. So stay out of cursed zones. 